Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bashom, Yahweh Shai, Bashom Rachakwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of quick and important information being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Dire winter scenario issued for EU. Now, as you brothers may know, the EU, Europe, or the European Union is is basically going through what we know as a gas shortage and they are going through a gas crisis because of this gas shortage because of the lack of imported gas that they are receiving from Russia a year past to ration out their gas you know and a matter of fact uh, Europe the, the gas is becoming so scarce in Europe that they're not just handing gas out to regular people you know people you know uh, you know some people probably had to get different jobs or whatnot you know so it's, it's, you know, I don't know if it was the president or it could have been a high-ranking official in Europe, but I remember, I believe it was two months ago, president of Europe or the high-ranking official came out and basically told the people, he, he told the people of Europe to get ready for a cold winter, you know? He said, that's, what, that's exactly what he told him. He said, get ready for a cold winter because it was going to get really, you know, really bad out in Europe. You know, a lot of people, it was going to be without gas in their homes. And uh, let me tell you something. A house without gas is dangerous for many reasons. You know, you need, you need your furnace up and running in your home because... Well, uh, w w without heat running through your entire house, you know, your, your pipes could freeze up. And if your, if your pipes freeze up, you know, that could lead to, you know, internal damage within your pipes. You know, that could cause water to, you know, burst out of your pipes. It can cause pipes to, to break. You know, frozen pipes is, is not something fun to deal with, you know. So, a lot of people, they're already probably intending to, to either leave Europe and move to a different country, or they're probably going to camp out, um, which is what they bought the campfire wood for. Because um, campfire wood, the price of campfire wood went up, especially after... Um, you know the, the the warning has been issued to Europeans about how how they weren't going to have any gas. And by the way, the most recent thing now is um, down in Europe, people is to be paying two thousand four hundred percent on on energy bills. So right now you might be paying uh, you might be paying fifty euros or fifty cents. You might be paying 50 euros and 50 cents on bills, right? But then that might that might um, move up to um, over 2,000 euros. Well, 2,400 euros and and 40 cents. Just roughly paraphrasing. But the point that the, the point is is that people's gonna if people is gonna be paying over a thousand euros next year in energy bill costs to show you how bad Europe is doing here 
Okay, so it says the bloc will either have to continue importing gas from Russia or reduce consumption. Consultancy, Yakov and partners say. Right? Zephaniah. Chapter 3, verse 5. It says this. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fell of not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Every morning doth the Lord bring his judgment to light. And here are some examples of that. The Lord bringing his judgment to light. He's, he, he's letting us know that, that he, he's doing things, you know. So so we, we, we should be rejoicing, man. Because the Lord, the Lord is doing his work. Okay? And all these are signs uh, of Edom's downfall. But uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom is on to the next one.